Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, in an earlier video, I showed you how to make this using math. I have got a way that was shared by one of my users that is a little slicker and uses less math. Let me show you how to make it happen. So, of course, we are going to type cylinder to find the fancy shape. It is this one right here. Now the user wanted a cylinder divided into three equal parts that was larger than their 3D printer. Of course, I did it with math. You can check for that video up here. Let me show you the version without math. So to split this evenly, we need 360 degrees divided by three. That gives us 120. So that's the number we're gonna type for our arc. Now we're gonna use the number 100 and we're going to use the number 100. I do want to remind you it's important to not stretch the handles or you break those parameters. I'm going to make this five high even though it doesn't matter. Now friends, we know the radius of this is 100. If we have a larger circle, like I made this circle 310, so it had a radius of 155. So all we have to do is convert from our 100 to 155. Let me show you how we would do that simply hold down shift stretch it to crazyville and where it used to say 100 type 155 and press enter you have instantly made the exact pie shape you need real quickly i want to scroll down and thank bungle 1963 for the suggestion once again proving that you guys give me some of the best ideas for tutorials Friends, now that we got the shape, let me show you assembly. I'm going to get rid of our cylinder search, and I'm just going to bring out the cylinder. I'm going to switch it to a super fun color just because it's entertaining. And then I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to stretch it to Crazyville. Change the number to 310, because that was that size I had chosen. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to make it 3 millimeters thick. And I'm also going to set the sides to 64. Friends, here it gets kind of cool. Watch this we do a line once again we're going to make that large circle the boss and choose the corners now we can select them both do control D and rotate it 120 degrees remember we're going to type those numbers again and check it out it lines up exactly where you want if you do control D again bingo you have just made all your slices how cool is that of course we do need to delete the main circles i'm going to do that by selecting the slices hiding them and then i can just hit delete to get rid of all that and finally bring everything else back now friends i do want to remind you this user wanted to know how to slice this into three pieces i've got that for you i do not know how large their printer is and i do not know the real numbers that they were using but now you have a few techniques to scale your circle to fit any project you want I will show you this as well, friends. Don't forget, if you needed a different size slice, you can change those instantly, and the math recalculates and the proportions stay the same as well. And of course, if you ever make a mistake like I don't want that, I can do Control Z and bring it right back. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.